here on GoPSUSports.com with Penn State head coach James Franklin. Coach, I'll get right into it this week. You know, post game, you kind of talked about spending the early part of this week identifying some key areas of improvements moving forward. You know, what you want to share, you know, what are those uh, areas and kind of what's been the focus? Yeah, obviously, you know, it's still early in the week, but uh, obviously the running game. We want to be able to get the running game and be more consistent. But I also make the same argument. Um, you know, if people are going to be so aggressive in committing to stopping the run and stopping Saquon, it's going to create other opportunities. And we've been able to take advantage of that. You look at our numbers compared to the first five games from last year compared to this year, you know, we're in a good place. And the thing that I take a lot of pride in as a head coach is just getting better as the season goes on, stressing fundamentals and techniques and things like that. So um, I like where, where we're at. Obviously, PAT field goal is another area. You know, when you go back and watch the tape, you have uh, – 10 guys doing the right thing, eight out of, a nine, out of the nine reps. On the ninth rep, one guy decides to do something different and we pay the price. But that's also what I love about, about Tyler. You know, I asked Tyler about the, the short one that he missed. I asked him what happened. He goes, I missed it. No excuses, no other comments, no, nothing about the snapper, nothing about the holder, I missed it. And that's what you have in, in a mature player like that. You know, when you think about, you mentioned other op options, you know, aside from Saquon Barkley, you know, guys like uh, Jawan Johnson, Deshaun Hamilton stepping up, you know, what's the key to kind of continuing uh, that level of, of momentum? Well, I think the big thing is all the guys preparing and working because you have no idea when your number's going to be called. You know, it's not like, you know, we're running uh, a, a style of offense where we're just going to hand it off or throw it to one guy. Uh, the majority of the game. We're going to go through our progressions. We're going to take what the defense gives. And, you know, really none of us have any idea how that's going to play out until game time. So you just got to prepare hard and work hard. And the opportunities that you get, you got to maximize them. And, uh, you know, it was great, obviously, to see, you know, Ham have the type of day he had, especially, you know, especially that we're at home, <clears throat> especially breaking a record and also having a big individual day as well. I'm just really, really happy and, and proud of him. Because uh, I think, you know, he's a, he's a player that a lot of our young players can learn from. A guy that, you know, his, his uh, story to success didn't go in a straight line. And they very rarely do. You know, there's, there's twists and there's turns and there's ups and there's downs. And he just kind of kept plugging away at it. And look where he's at now. So, you know, I, I couldn't be more proud of him or, or our team right now. And when you look at this week's assignment, Northwestern, you know, heading to Northwestern, having been there before, does that familiarity give any sense of comfort or, or confidence heading into that? Yeah, I think a little bit. I think obviously, you know, whenever you've been to these venues and you can know what to expect, not only as, as coaches, but also as players, that there's value in that. There's no doubt about it. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's going to come down to uh, how we play, how consistent we play, how hard we play, um, you know, how, how much we execute. And we're going to have to do all those things at a higher rate than they do. I know, you know, I listened to their head coach's press conference, Coach Fitz, and he talked about, you know, the big issue in the game is going to be, you know, um, you know, winning the turnover battle. And, you know, for coaches, that that's that's you know pretty standard. Um, I think we all realize the impact of that, and that's something we've been really good at this year. So, you know, we we obviously need to focus on that as well. When you think about Northwestern offensively, you know, what impresses you most? You know, is it their veteran quarterback? Is it the things that they're able to do in the run game right now? What is sticking out to you? Well, you know, to be honest with you, they, they've, they've done a good job against us specifically offensively. They've had a really good plan for us. A lot of the pin and pull schemes where they're blocking the tight end down on the defensive end and pulling two linemen to get on the perimeter. Their running back, we know very well. We recruited him when we were at Vanderbilt. He's been very productive, maybe one of the more productive running backs uh, in the Big Ten. Um, you know, and then obviously they got a quarterback now who's not a young player anymore. He's matured. He's grown. Uh, you know, a lot of people are saying he's he's one of the more highly regarded NFL prospects as well in terms of his uh, combination of size, speed, arm strength, those types of things. So um, it, it's going to be a real challenge for us. I don't think there's any doubt. They got they got a really veteran staff. They've been together for a long time. You know, so uh, you know we're looking forward to the opportunity. And then you think on the other side of the ball for Northwestern, um, what about challenges defensively, maybe especially even in their secondary as well? Yeah, I think, you know, obviously, you know, again, you know, I would probably look at Northwestern a little bit like Iowa. They are who they are. Mm -hmm. uh, two of the most uh, tenured coaches in, in the Big Ten um, have been doing it, you know, for a long time. They have a philosophy. They have a plan. Are they going to tweak some things, game plan, uh, you know, each week? Yeah, but for the most part, 
they are who they are. You know, they, they, they play hard, they play fast, they're fundamentally sound, they execute. Um, they don't blitz a tremendous amount. You know, we could see a little bit of a spike in that this week, but, but for the most part, they are who they are. Um, and we think it's going to be a, you know, a tremendous challenge, but also create some opportunities for us on Saturday as well. Well, we'll look forward to catching up with you in Evanston. Thank you so much. Thank you.